This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, October 28th. I'm James Spann, a cold front on the way, and that's going to bring some cool air down here for midweek. And by the weekend, another pop of cold air. Hey, look out for a freeze in spots by Sunday morning. Goodness, let's go in there and take a look at things this morning. Got a pretty good trough that is rotating through the Great Plains. You see a little band of moisture coming in with a subtropical jet stream in advance of that push of cool air. This morning, we are relatively mild with mostly 60s around here, but back behind the front, 20s and 30s. And we'll catch some of that air Wednesday and Thursday. And again, even colder air is doing here by Saturday and Sunday. Uh, over the southern half of the state early this morning, a dense fog advisory for the counties in gray. And out west, those are frost and freeze warnings for parts of Kansas, Utah, and Colorado back in the colder air. Uh, ahead of the front, the chance of some active storms today, the standard slight risk of severe weather. For parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania, the new marginal risk extends down into Kentucky. And then tomorrow, no risk of uh, severe weather. In fact, again, I don't think we'll have much thunder. Just probably a band of rain showers coming in here tomorrow morning. This is the rain for the next five days, and all of this will be late tonight and tomorrow uh, amounts of one inch around the shoals. The numbers have come up a little bit for the far northern part of the state, but down here, we still think the totals will be well under one half inch as the moisture is quite limited. And the tropics, Hannah, that uh, storm that formed all of a sudden on the coast of Central America has drifted down into Nicaragua and is dissipating this morning. Another wave is to the east of the Leeward Islands. If anything forms out there, that turns north and be no problem for the United States, obviously with the mean troughing setting up over the eastern U.S. in coming days. Hey, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the OZ run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. This is at 500 millibars. You can see the troughing west of the state. And down below that, we stay dry today. Not as warm as yesterday. Highs will drop back into the mid to upper 70s today. By the way, Anniston hit 87 yesterday. Uh, that uh, was a new record. Birmingham, 86, uh, missing a record there by two. And also, we should mention, today is the 13th consecutive day without a drop of rain. But rain is close. You can see showers on the front through uh, western Tennessee today. And those will be creeping in here late tonight. This is 1 a.m. just after midnight. And uh, showers should be falling at that point north of a line from near uh, Vernon to Cullman to Fort Payne. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. The band of showers is sagging south. Uh, rain seems likely in places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. So we'll mention a good chance of showers and maybe some thunder tomorrow morning. And then by 4 p.m., the rain is kind of fading away. It's all to the south of Interstate 20 as the sky should begin to clear. And the day will be cooler tomorrow with a high only in the uh, 60s. In fact, the NAM is printing a high of only 62 for Birmingham tomorrow. Uh, the GFS is at 69, and you know the deal. The truth is probably somewhere in between. There's the synoptic look coming off the GFS tomorrow. You can see a chilly uh, 124 millibar high dropping in from the north. Thursday, it should be a pretty nice day. A chilly morning will start the day down in the low 40s. Colder pockets will probably see 30s. And the high should be in the upper 60s on Thursday. Just a beautiful fall day. Friday, again, really nice. Uh, we'll probably see low 70s. But boy, look at that 1,035 millibar high that's sitting on the Canadian border up there in, uh, just north of Minnesota. That's windy and cold for the Great Lakes. Wow. Maybe some snow flurries flying around near uh, Detroit, Michigan. And then Saturday, that new surge of cold air really uh, drops in here. Saturday is going to be a cool day. Uh, we will not make it out of the 50s on Saturday with a pretty good northeast wind. Of course, the no rain. Uh, the sky will be sunny. And again, look up there in New England. Uh, they're really cold. And again, a chance of some snowflakes around Boston. Wow. And uh, our friends up there kind of watching that uh, coastal low, it seems to be a little far to the east to make a really big inland impact, but still it's going to be so much like winter up there. And this is Sunday. Uh, Sunday morning, I do believe we're going to see the first frost of the season for most places, and a number of North Alabama communities could very well see the first freeze. In fact, let me just go ahead and jump to the temperatures here. 
Coming off the ensemble here, you can see it's printing a low of 33 for Birmingham on Sunday. And the high Saturday only at 56. Goodness gracious. So uh, for some uh, North Alabama communities, it could wrap up the growing season. We'll go to uh, Monday, another cool, dry day. And again, Monday, I think, will be in the upper 30s to near 40. Uh, the high will be in the 60s. And this is Tuesday, a week from today, another trough west of here in a batch of showers in advance of a surface boundary over Mississippi and western Tennessee and Arkansas. And this is Wednesday of next week, November 5th. This is suggesting a fairly decent little rain event. No, not, no severe weather here, but uh, we could use some rain, and that might give us one half to one inch uh, Wednesday, November 5th. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 12th of November. Uh, we got broad troughing in the west, ridging in the east, and Looks like a little surface front dropping in from the north. But the good news, we don't see any signs of severe weather as uh, we begin our fall tornado season this weekend. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.